I'm feeling a little bit nervous about trying out these lipsticks because my expectations are super high. When I saw the shades in a promo, I went crazy and I immediately went to the website and ordered them. I don't know what's happening with me, but lately I'm into like softer, neutral leaning shades. It's the winter time, fall time is over. Fall time, I usually like warm, darker shades. But as winter is approaching, maybe that's what's making me want softer, neutral shades. I hope they live up to my expectations. These are supposed to be really nice, comfortable, 12-hour wear matte lipsticks. These are new shades of the Lancome L'Absolute Into Matte Lipsticks. I am probably butchering the name, but I'm trying my best. Five shades to show you guys. I skipped out on the darker shades. I think there were like two or three dark shades because I don't see myself wearing them anytime soon. So I brought you guys in a little bit closer so we can take a better look at these lipsticks. First up is the shade 210 is called Unspoken Feelings. Really beautiful bronze packaging. This is different from all the other Lancome lipsticks that I have that are black. This is a perfect neutral shade that you can wear to work, to an office environment. This is for someone who doesn't want to go bold with their lipstick. But it looks super soft on the lips as well. I really like it. This is definitely fitting in with the expectation that I had from these lipsticks. But we have four more to go. You guys know I did a massive eyeshadow declutter, but I have not decluttered lipsticks and I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. I actually ordered the ABH new liquid lipsticks as well. Next shade, 300 Self Revealing. I like this shade too. This is a lighter shade. It feels a little bit more pinkier, less neutral, but it still looks soft. This is exactly what I was expecting from these lipsticks and so far two of them are looking really good. And even though it's matte, right now it is feeling very soft on the lips. Here is a comparison of the two shades. You can clearly see that unspoken feelings is definitely darker, more neutral leaning, and this one is pinkier. And it's called Self Revealing. Both beautiful lipsticks, I love it. I just realized I actually have four lipsticks because I ordered two by mistake of the same shade, so I only have five because I have two duplicate. So I only have four shades for you guys. And the next one is called Lover's Whispers. These are really interesting names. Now I'm getting excited. Wow, absolutely stunning. So this one has more peach in it, like a coral peachy shade, and it is also a very beautiful soft color. So far the three that I have tried out, they are soft colors that are very everyday wearable. You can wear them to the office, to work, or you could even wear them during like brunch, lunch, or even perhaps a wedding. Here you can see the third one and you can clearly see it definitely has more of a corally shade in there. Aww, I'm kind of starting to wish I had gotten the darker shades. The last shade I have is called Hush Hush. So 
but this one has like a little touch of purple so it's kind of like a little bit of a mauvey shade but it is still very pink i wouldn't necessarily call it a total mauve purple shade but there is that hint of purple in it so it's like a mauvey pinky shade wow i am <laughs> I did not need to be nervous because these lipsticks are exactly what I expected them to be. To be soft, beautiful, everyday wearable, they are all perfect. I work from home, but if I were going to the office, these four lipsticks are definitely the only lipsticks I would wear during winter and springtime. And then I would definitely change off during summer and during fall. I like my dark lipsticks, but these are perfect for winter and the coming spring. Here they are all side by side. So you can see like this one is darker and it is definitely pink but with a slight hint of purple. This one is like coral, this one is light pink, and then this first one that I had tried out is a neutral pink. I am so happy you guys. I know I have said it like a million times already, but these lipsticks are absolutely beautiful. I will leave the links down below for you guys if you're interested in shopping them and they will be affiliate links so that would help support my channel because I will make a small commission. <sighs> you will love these lipsticks lately I have been doing really long videos so this video feels way too short and I feel like I'm not ready to say goodbye but you guys will see me soon I have a makeup inventory video coming up a project pan finale one and I will link my 23 best lipsticks from 2023 video at the end of this one if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.